Welcome back children. So today we will start excretory system of man. Now what is excretion? The process by which metabolic and nitrogenous wastes are removed from the body is called as excretion. Now the main excretory organ in our body is kidney though there are some other accessory excretory organ for example the lungs can be considered as the accessory excretory organ the liver can be considered as the accessory excretory organ the skin can be considered as an accessory excretory organ so but the main organ of excretion is considered as kidney there are two kidneys in our body it is located in our abdomen towards the back. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney. The kidney is a bean shaped organ 10 cm long 6 cm wide. Here. So first of all you should draw the diagram of this human excretory system I am drawing a diagram which is very simple and you should also draw the same <clears throat> so These are the two kidneys. So from here, two ureters will come out. So this is the <coughs> left kidney, this is the right kidney, this is the right ureter, this is the left ureter, this is the urinary bladder. And this is urethra. So primarily the excretory organ, the excretory system in man consists of four different parts. Kidney. Now from the kidney, ureter comes out. The ureter connects the kidney with the urinary bladder. Means the urine which is formed in the kidney is transported to the urinary bladder via the ureter. Now the urinary bladder is a bag which helps in storing urine. When the urinary bladder becomes filled with urine, then it passes out of the urinary bladder through urethra. Clear? Now this urethra here at the mouth of the urinary bladder and the urethra there is one sphincter muscle which regulates the flow of urine through the urethra the act of passing out urine is called as micturation remember the act of passing out urine is called as micturation clear so basically 
the human excretory system is made up of four different parts kidneys two pair of kidneys you can see that the right kidney is slightly lower means it is not in level with the left kidney right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney then two ureters each from the kidney comes out one is right ureter one is left ureter and these two joins the urinary bladder urinary bladder is a sac like structure where urine is stored and when the urinary bladder becomes filled with urine then urine is allowed to pass out through the urethra out of the body the urinary bladder and the urethra between these two there is one sphincter which is called as a uh, means it is a valve which regulates the flow of urine from the urinary bladder to the urethra the act of passing out urine is called as micturition now <clears throat> the urine is formed in this kidney the kidney is made up of millions and millions of very small tubules which are called as uriniferous tubules clear uriniferous tubules they are also called as nephron so remember these kidneys contain uriniferous tubule or nephron now this nephron is called as the structural and functional unit of kidney clear so children this structure of nephron is highly specialized and since every kidney contains about 5 million 5 5 lakh sorry 5 lakh nephrons means together 10 lakh that is 1 million in all so remember every kidney has so many that means so many nephrons so the structure of nephron you can understand so small so the amplifier magnified structure magnified structure of nephron must be known to understand the mechanism of working so in our next class i will do the structure of nephron and at the same time i'll explain you how urine is produced with the help of nephron Thank you.